What if humans could one day set foot on every planet in our solar system? The real question is, how long would you actually survive once you got there? Here's the terrifying truth you wouldn't survive at all, because every single planet is a death trap. Each one has its own way of killing you, whether by burning, freezing, crushing, or ripping you apart. In this video, we're going to travel from the closest planet to the sun, all the way out to the most distant world. And at every stop, you'll see one thing very clearly space is breathtaking, but it's also brutally unforgiving. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, but that doesn't mean it's always hot. During the day, surface temperatures rocket to 800 degrees, T.T. soars, while at night, they plunge to 290 degrees. This extreme swing happens because Mercury doesn't have a real atmosphere to trap heat. Instead, it has only a thin exosphere, which is useless for keeping temperatures stable. Landing here would be brutal. Not only is the terrain full of craters and cliffs, but the thin air makes slowing down nearly impossible. Your ship would likely smash into the surface at terrifying speed. And even if you managed to land, your spacesuit wouldn't save you. NASA's latest suits max out at about 250 degrees C, nowhere near Mercury's 800 degrees daytime heat. Nighttime wouldn't save you either. At 290 degrees, you'd freeze solid faster than your suit could handle. Your only slim chance would be standing in the Terminator zone, the thin line between day and night. But even there, temperatures shift quickly and one wrong step would mean instant death. Venus is often called Earth's twin, but it's more like a nightmare version of our planet. It's just 25 million miles away, with almost the same size and gravity as Earth. The first thing you'd notice are those golden clouds that look beautiful from space. But in reality, they're made of sulfuric acid, a poison that would melt through your lungs in seconds. Let's say your spacesuit could filter that out and keep you alive. As you descend, visibility drops fast because the atmosphere is so thick with carbon dioxide. Only about 10% of sunlight makes it to the surface, so it's surprisingly dark down there. And the heat? A staggering 860 degree if hot enough to melt lead. Moving would feel almost impossible. The air is so dense it would be like trying to wade through a thick liquid with every step. Even with the best pressurized suit, you'd last only seconds before the crushing pressure destroys it. At 92 times Earth's pressure, it would feel like the weight of an ocean pressing down on your chest. And if the pressure didn't kill you, the sulfuric acid would flood in the moment your suit cracked. On Venus, survival isn't just unlikely, it's impossible. Mars is the second closest planet to Earth, and it's often called the most habitable. Daytime highs can reach a comfortable 70 degrees, which almost sounds inviting. But at night, temperatures drop to 100 degrees or lower turning the red planet into a freezer. It's a brutal swing that no human could survive without serious protection. The real problem though, isn't just the temperature, it's the atmosphere. Mars has a paper thin layer of mostly carbon dioxide with barely a trace of oxygen. That thin atmosphere means low pressure and high radiation exposure. Radiation on Mars is 40 to 50 times higher than what you get on Earth. And if that weren't enough, Mars is famous for its giant dust storms. These storms can cover the entire planet with winds up to 60 miles per hour that last for months. They won't blow you away like on Earth, but they'll coat everything in fine red dust. Electronics would fail, solar panels would die and your life support would be buried. Any real attempt to live here would require airtight insulated habitats. Without them, you'd be cooked by radiation frozen at night or choked by storms. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, but it's also one of the deadliest. Even before you get close, the radiation alone would be enough to kill you. But let's imagine you had a magical spacesuit that could block that radiation. You'd still face gravity 2.4 times stronger than Earth's pulling you down like a rock. As you entered the atmosphere, you'd pass through white clouds of frozen ammonia crystals. Here, the temperature drops to 240 degrees, and hurricane force winds scream at 300 miles per hour. Going deeper, you'd leave the bright clouds behind and fall into darker, denser layers. The pressure rises fast, crushing everything, like the weight of an ocean stacked on top of you. After hours of falling, you'd hit something bizarre called a supercritical fluid. It's not quite a gas, not quite a liquid, more like sinking in invisible quicksand. Keep going and you'd reach a sea of metallic hydrogen. This strange substance conducts electricity like metal, but swirls like liquid. If you somehow survived that far, you'd still face Jupiter's mysterious core. We're not even sure if it's solid or liquid, 
but temperatures may hit 43,000 degrees hotter than the surface of the Sun. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system, and it's famous for its dazzling rings. But behind that beauty lies one of the most hostile environments imaginable. Before you even get near the atmosphere, you'd have to dodge its 146 moons and countless chunks of ice and rock. The rings themselves are basically a cosmic minefield of debris moving at thousands of miles per hour. If you made it past the rings, you'd encounter hurricane force winds blasting at 100 miles per hour. These winds are so violent they'd rip apart anything not indestructible. Approaching the poles wouldn't help much either. At the North Pole, Saturn has a massive hexagon-shaped storm big enough to swallow two Earths. Temperatures at the top of the atmosphere can plunge to 400 degrees colder than almost anywhere else in the solar system. But the deeper you fall, the temperatures begin to rise again. Pressure grows quickly as gases compress into liquid states. It's like diving into an ocean that never ends with crushing weight all around you. Keep going and you'd eventually reach a molten rocky core about 10 times the size of Earth. Here, the temperature soars to 21,000 degrees and the pressure is over a thousand times greater than Earth's surface. Uranus is one of the strangest planets in the solar system because it spins on its side. Its tilted axis makes it look like it's rolling around the sun instead of spinning upright. The planet completes the day in just 17 hours, much faster than Earth. That sideways spin gives Uranus some of the weirdest seasons you can imagine. But the real nightmare begins as you enter its atmosphere. Temperatures plunge to 370 degrees, making Uranus the coldest planet in the solar system. The air is loaded with toxic hydrogen, helium and methane. One breath would kill you instantly without protection. As you fall deeper, the atmosphere grows denser and ice pellets begin slamming into you. At the same time, winds roar at nearly 560 miles per hour. Go further still and you'd reach something spectacular diamond rain. Under crushing pressure, methane turns into solid diamonds that fall like hail. But don't be fooled by the sparkle pressure here is over a hundred times greater than on Earth. That's more than enough to flatten any human or machine in seconds. Neptune sits 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, making it the most distant planet in our solar system. Out here, sunlight is so faint it feels like eternal twilight. The upper atmosphere is bitterly cold with temperatures around 360 degrees. But as you dive deeper, heat builds up from the planet's mysterious core. That core may reach over 12,000 degrees hotter than the surface of the Sun. The pressure there is so intense it would crush anything in seconds. Like Uranus, Neptune also has storms of diamond rain. Methane breaks down under pressure, forming sparkling diamonds that fall like hailstones. But Neptune has something else that makes it terrifying its winds. They are the fastest in the entire solar system, reaching supersonic speeds over 1-200 miles per hour. If you were standing on Neptune, you'd be thrown faster than the speed of sound. No spacesuit, no spaceship, no human technology could survive here. We've traveled from Mercury to Neptune, and every planet turned out to be deadly in its own way. Extreme heat, brutal cold, toxic air, crushing pressure, and violent storms all make survival impossible. The truth is, Earth is the only safe haven we've got. Our little blue world is fragile, but it's the only one we can actually live on. So if you've enjoyed this cosmic adventure, hit that subscribe button for more fascinating explorations. And share this video with someone who loves space because the universe has endless stories to tell.